What's up everyone? Karu here from my Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. As you can see, I'm already sweaty. I already played the set that you're about to see. I figure I'll record the intro here. I'm here with Marty Ridlicky, the legend, the legend Marty Ridlicky. We just played a set and a tiebreaker, first person point of view. I know you guys enjoyed this one. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put the set in, you guys watch it, and then at the end I'm gonna have some final thoughts, what, you know, what went wrong, what went well today. Uh, things that you can learn from this video and apply to your own game. Um, you know, we're, we as pros are never perfect as well, so this is a good way to um, show you that. So let's just jump right to the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go follow Marty Redlicky, and if you, you know, want some lessons in LA, he's available, uh, so go check it out. Uh, his, his page also leaves his email or phone number down, down in the description below. So let's watch it, and we'll come back here in a little bit and I'll talk a little bit about the set.
All right, and we're back. As you can see, Marty took it to me today. Um, did not play my bass, but I think it was a fun set. It was a good set, right? Yeah. It was a fun set. Yeah. Um, but there are a couple things that I kind of want to highlight uh, that we both like discussed a little bit afterwards. Um, I think the first one, I think, at least on my side was, and it, I think this is something that happens to a lot of amateurs or people who, who you know, compete, is I hadn't played someone my own level in a while. And I think I was trying to go for too much too early, like not really c confident that I could stay in the rally, even though that's kind of my game. Uh, so just trying to get ahead of the point or hit winners way too early or, or, you know, go for the wrong shots. You see, there was a lot of mistakes early on and I had to just claw my way back into the set, but it's always difficult when you're playing someone your own level. So you just kind of have to like play your game early on, not go for anything too crazy. I mean, go for your shots, but um, you know, always make the right decisions. Like go, go for the highest quality possible shot that you can hit, not just 
the one that like might hurt him the most sometimes, but it will be m more risky. So that was a difficult uh, thing for me to like navigate during this set, and and it happens, it happens, and so that's what's important. What is important to like keep playing, playing at lower level, higher level, at your own level. Uh, but that's something that I was really struggling with in the beginning, and. You know, at, and at, at the end of the day, I ended up losing the set because I was playing the, the game that Marty wanted me to play, like fast, fast pace, going for it. Like he doesn't want to stay in, in these long rallies uh, when we play. And I just sort of gave that to him, like oh, I'm going to play his style and not my style. So keep, keep in mind that when you're playing um, anyone um, at your own level or even when you're playing a little bit higher up, uh, I always say don't go for too much. Don't, don't try to um, all of a sudden play super far above your level. Just do the things that you know how to do and, and go from there. So that's point number one. Point number two, first serve percentage. I did not serve well, I was missing a lot of first serves and I was missing a lot of first serves like when it mattered. You see, like I actually served well on break points but then never served well uh, on the deuce points, on the on my own game points. That's a huge thing. Um, you, you can clearly see in the set like how first serve percentage uh, at this level, uh, it's so big. It, it's such a huge thing when you're making a lot of first serves. Um, I thought I was, you know, going again, it goes back to point number one where I was like, I wanted to finish the point with the serve because I wasn't trusting myself from the back and you end up just, it snowballs effect and, until you're making a lot of mistakes. So make sure, um, you know, you can dial it back in, put more serves in. Like Marty was hitting a lot more first serves, They're not even that big often, but just playing the first serve um, and having good first shots. So uh, that coupled with, you know, making some silly errors off the first ball. Um, that's that's a huge thing. You see, it, the set's never really won on the best shots, the crazy shots that you hit. It's like on those easy balls that you're missing, like near the, you're near the net or something, you think about it too much and you, you make the mistake and that's it. You end up losing, um, you know, from a 30 all that could be 40-30 becomes 30-40 pressure. Um, so, you know, little things, it's little details like that that really uh, set, you know, good players from great players apart. And when you're, you know, when you're feeling those things well, when you're hitting those balls well, it's usually easier to win. So that's point number two. And point number three, and on my side at least, I, because I wasn't feeling my ground strokes that well today, I, was not, I did not feel like I could swing out all the time. Um, you end up not committing to your shots. Like you see in the tiebreaker there, I was actually hitting, committing to it way more and making less errors. Uh, where during the set, I was like a little bit tentative, not allowing the racket to like really follow through the way I wanted. And, that is going to actually cause you to hit, make more mistakes than, I, than, than make more balls in. So like decommitting from your shots is always a problem. Uh, you, know, you don't fully like cover the ball and, and, and that's what was happening. I was entrusting a lot of net mistakes, which is usually not what I do because I wasn't trusting that you know, my ball was going to go up and down the way I want it. Uh, a little like side note on that, it's like I my rackets are not really strong the way I wanted. They're a little old and, and loose. And that's, that kind of like got in my head. It's like, oh, I don't feel like I can swing out because the ball is going to go, go long. And it was just snowball effect. So it's like, I know it's easy to blame your, your uh, equipment sometimes, but you've got to make sure like your equipment is up to your standards when you're playing. Like you don't, you don't want to lose a match because your, your racket was not strong well or something like that. You have to make sure you understand your equipment well, not to say like racket is going to win like a match is just making sure that like everything is up to your standard so you don't have to like think about that and just think about the match I was it, it was in my head about like my strings and whatnot and it really like made me more tentative and not play well so that's point number three I think um, overall it was like a fun set I'm not worried about it at all we just wanted to work out we got a tournament next week both of us we're probably gonna play each other um, so those are really the main three points um, and that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you can leave a comment below with your thoughts on what happened uh, during this match. Um, also make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It really, really helps us. Uh, also make sure you go follow Marty out there. And if you you know, buy anything from Tennis Warehouse or Amazon, we got a bunch of links down below that, that help the channel. So we really appreciate that. Um, user links, Swing Vision, we got a bunch of stuff. So I'll leave, a, 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 leave it all on the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.